Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of ATR and today I'm going to show you how you can run your Windows 10 PC on an Xbox device. As you can see, I'm actually using the controller to navigate my mouse and you can see that my PC is actually connected to Xbox One and I can disconnect it if I want. So at this point, the possibilities are endless. Everything that you do on your PC you can display it on your Xbox on the big screen wirelessly. It's amazing. So I don't need to go ahead and show you things, but just a quick one. I can go to the start menu and then click whatever I want. If I need to go to uh, any games that I want to play, no problem. Say if I'm playing, I've only got Solitaire and a couple of built-in games on my laptop, so I can't really do much, but uh, you get the point. Of course, the best thing for me is the fact that I can actually browse my Google Chrome on the Xbox, which is something that I can't often do, and I get to access all my favorites and bookmarks. So without a further ado, I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm just going to let you know how it's done so you can get cracking in under five minutes. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is simply go to the Microsoft Store app on your Xbox and search for the wireless display app. I'll just quickly go to the search box and type in WIRE and there it is on the left hand side. Select wireless display and then click on get once it's downloaded simply launch it and now I'll go to my laptop okay now this is the laptop screen and all you have to do is just point your arrow on the bottom right hand corner where your action center is and your, where your notifications are go ahead and click on it and then just above that click on the connect tile and once you click on the connect tile that's going to be searching for wireless displays in the local network as long as the devices are both connected on the same network and then it'll find the xbox one device and all you have to do is just go ahead and click on xbox one In order to use your Xbox controller on your Windows screen, you need to allow permission in the same notification area just by selecting allow input and that's all you need to do. It's as simple as that. Thank you for watching, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and even subscribe to my channel for more goodies like this. Check out the rest of my channel for awesome little tips and tricks on Windows and Android devices. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.